Google's Wear OS is about to go through some exciting changes and they're changes for the better. We're looking at a demonstration version of the new version of Wear OS right now. We're gonna have a closer look at some of those changes that are coming to your wrist very soon. So the first thing is the notification sensor that we'll pull down from the top here. You'll see that it's had a complete redesign and includes now your music settings, which we used to be hidden away under the Play Music app and other swipes, but instead they're right there with your quick notification, quick settings, when you swipe down from the top of the screen. Really nice addition. Now you're wondering why I didn't go straight into the notifications, aren't you? Which is something that we've often had a problem with on Wear OS, but they are considerably better in this new version. So you swipe up from the bottom of the screen just as before, but now it's been so well redesigned that you get more on the screen and this clever use of color, the clever use of spacing in between the text and the lines means it's much easier on the eye and there's gonna be a lot less scrolling and flicking through pointless notifications to get what you want to see. And that is a huge benefit. When you tap a notification, you get quick access to the smart replies. You can reply on the watch itself. And it's a swipe to dismiss just as it was before. But crucially, it's that design change that we're really excited about with this new version of Wear OS. It doesn't stop there. You may have seen recently that Google Fit was updated and all of those updates now work on Wear OS. So you get this activity ring system, which as you may remember from the release is now much more focused on your activity during the day in two key ways, your heart health and your movement health and all of that is tracked directly on the watch in this attractive new way and that obviously links up with the Google Fit app on your phone. So that's swiped in from the side rather than again going through the menu system, going through the different apps and finding it. It's right there. It also shows how much Google is concentrating on sportswear for future uh, Wear OS watches. Google Assistant is the, th the final major change here. Pressing down the crown will bring up voice control just as it did before, but swiping in from the side here brings up all of your assistant-driven reminders and activities for the day. So this is a really interesting, if you think of it like some of the swipe-in screens you get on a phone, where you'll have a list of the things that you're going to do during the day and reminders. This works in a very similar way just on your wrist, really increasing functionality and usefulness on a daily basis. So you can see there we've got uh, your flight details, your calendar stuff, uh, how far it is from uh, getting to work, all the usual things that we'd expect Google Assistant to give us, just simply add a swipe of the screen, which is really, really nice. We'll do it in a minute. There we go. And again, paired with all of these additional design features, that's a very different looking Wear OS than what we're used to. The other features are still there as usual. You've got uh, assignable buttons for the crown and you've got your music. And of course, you've got your app system, which looks very similar to before in the same places that they were before. So this new version of Wear OS is going to be compatible with iOS and Android. Uh, the iOS notifications will be the big change because they don't work in the same way, but everything else will be there as you see here. Google tells us it's going to be compatible with all Wear OS watches. So if you've got a Wear OS on your uh, watch on your wrist already, you'll be getting this update and it's coming from September onwards and we're expecting to see various different new watches uh, over the coming months with this pre-installed. So we're pretty excited about the new Wear OS that you've had a quick look at right here.